the outpouring of emotion, I've just been kind of looking, monitoring Twitter and what people have been saying, and this sense of profound sadness and shock, but also that kind of sense of fragility that this edifice that took 200 years to build has been standing for 850 years. And in the space of an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes, it looks like large parts of it are reduced to rubble, the roof has disappeared, the spire has collapsed inwardly, there is a raging fire still burning, not as intently as it was when we came Although, on air. of course, air. we don't know what's happening inside the building. And we don't know what's happening inside the building, but we know that the stained glass has melted, that there has been such epic levels of destruction on this architectural jewel of the world. And what the Parisian authorities, what the church decides to do next, obviously that's for the days and weeks to come. But what we are looking at is a sense of loss and a sense of how fragile it is, because who would have ever thought, when you've stood on Ile de la Cité and you've looked up at the Notre Dame Cathedral in all its majesty with the flying buttresses and the ugly gargoyles and all the rest of it, you just marvelled. Mm -hmm. And to think that that has just gone like that is somehow hard to comprehend, and although we live in a kind of 24-7 news culture, actually processing this is really difficult. Mm -hmm.